another nba expansion yep they're gonna as you guys know las vegas is like guaranteed to get the expansion but our man mark j spears of anscape keeps talking about it mexico city i want to hear first off las vegas is guaranteed uh, not las vegas sorry seattle is guaranteed to franchise but right now we thought it was las vegas was going to be the second one and i always said kansas city's a dark horse but it seems like mexico city las vegas are the top two so Seattle's guaranteed as the 31st franchise, but the 32nd franchise is either going to be a Las Vegas franchise, a Mexico City franchise, a Kansas City franchise. Kansas City's dark horse, the two most likely teams, Mexico City and Las Vegas, then probably Kansas City and maybe Montreal or another Canada team. But let's get right into it. Let me hear your thoughts down below. Like and subscribe. 10,000 subscribers is around the corner. Help me get there. So Mexico City is in consideration to receive an NBA expansion team, according to Mark J. Spears of Anscape. From what I'm hearing, Mark Tatum said Mexico City is in consideration. So move to the side, Las Vegas. Move to the side, Seattle. Shut the fuck up, man. Seattle's getting it. Mexico City, which also can open the door to Latin America. Hey, todos mis hermanos que encantan el basketball. Vamos a tener un equipo para los latinos en México. Yo soy un argentino y me encantan todos los jugadores jugadores de basketball de cualquier país español or, or latino so i basically just uh i'm like also really stoned right there my mouth is really dry so that was like no sé por qué pero no podía hablar con tenía el acento que un gringo cuando estaba hablando <laughs> but the thing is is so right here what i'm saying is spears initially reported this last week that mexico city was a potential candidate for expansion the d the league said it it won't look at expansion until after negotiating the new tv rights deal probably because they're working their way like basically saying well if we you know expand while after signing this deal the deal will go up this much and the g leagues mexico city capitans are set to play a full home and away schedule this season so it'll definitely be interesting to see how the hell goes down and i think so i don't think mexico city is a dark horse it's seattle's guaranteed with Climate Pledge Arena, home to the NHL Krakens and WNBA Storm. But Mexico City Arena is is pretty is a 22,300 seat. And for me, I'm really telling you guys right here that the fees would reach at least $3 billion. And yeah, the fourth. And Mexico City is the sixth largest city in the world. That's why I think it goes Seattle is number one. It's guaranteed. Then Mexico City and Las Vegas are probably competing with each other. Then in third place, it's probably Kansas City. And then in fourth place, it's probably some Canadian team city like Montreal. But look, if we turn to expansion, this is a quote from Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum when he talked to Anscape quote if we turn to expansion there's no doubt that mexico city would have to be one of the cities that would be in consideration one of the biggest travel challenges around international expansion has been always been travel issues the facility issues but there's a world-class facility in mexico city in arena cdmx which is where we played our games and our global games in mexico tatum said that the travel to mexico would not be an impediment but claimed that the expansion was not immediately in the docket and now you're wondering why Mexico City is the sixth largest city in the world with nearly 22 million people in its metropolitan area. Also, it's sinking. So maybe that's the reason why they won't do it. That's 2 million more than the NBA's largest metro, New York City. There's also a likely owner in Carlos Slim, the world's 11th richest man. And the NBA likes the idea that they're becoming effectively Mexico's national team, much the way that the Toronto Raptors are for Canada. And... It might not happen all, but the NBA is strongly indicating it's willing to say Lo Siento to at least one American city, which would be cool. Bye.